Hello, this is Pete Cooper. Today we're going to be talking about the bow hold. Different violinists and fiddle players use slightly different variations in the bow hold. What I'll show you is a good, basic, all-purpose bow hold. It's the one that I use myself. And it relies on the principle of balance rather than tension. Start by relaxing your right arm. Just let it swing freely from the shoulder until it comes to rest. OK. Hold your hand out, palm upwards, fingers and thumb, a little spread. The bow is going to lie between the second crease of the index finger and the very tip of the little finger. So pick up the bow in your other hand, hair side up, and lay it across your fingers from this second crease of the index finger to the tip of the little finger. With a slight turn of the wrist, you can bring the index, middle and ring fingers around the stick so that they rest diagonally across it. Because you're bringing the stick well into the hand, the hold will feel secure without your having to grip hard. The bow is octagonal in section, at least at the frog end. The very tip of your little finger just sits on the nearest facet. I mentioned the principle of balance. It's the top right corner of the thumb that will be the pivot at the centre of the bow hold. Now, gently bending the thumb, make a ring with the tip of the middle finger, slightly on the index finger side. In other words, like that. OK, so I can take my left hand away. The bow hold, although it's upside down, is now fully in place. I can rotate the wrist and forearm through 180 degrees to bring the bow into the playing position. Remember to keep the thumb bent. The temptation is often to tighten up and grip the bow rigidly with a straight thumb. Instead of tension, we'll use the principle of balance. Let's see how the top right corner of the thumb, that point of contact, functions as a pivot. Release the pressure of your little finger and the bow dips down to the left. Apply pressure and the tip of the bow rises. Release and it drops back again. Now no bow hold will feel natural right away, but you'll soon be able to pick the bow up without any need to place it in position with your left hand first. Now the bow hold is not a fixed static thing, but it's a dynamic one. It involves movement. Try keeping the bow vertical. Try moving it forward and back with your arm swinging from the shoulder in a piston movement. Elbow and wrist free. Also, try moving the bow vertically up and down in the air, feeling the movement within the hand and wrist. And finally, with a turn of the wrist, gently to the left and right, like a windscreen wiper. <laughs> 